Parliament Tower. It was back. Okay, so we're straight. Wow. Computer said no. Encoding overloaded. Wonderful. Just one thing after another with this one, isn't it? Uh, Parliament Towers in a bit of a state. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. Hmm. Is this a separate chapter? Or... Is it a continuation of summoning? Uh, gone. Initiation nine. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? What the hell? What the absolute bollocks is going on? Just the game's decided that it wants to... Apologies for the technical issues. I haven't got a clue. We've played, what, 30-odd hours of this game and never had any kind of computer lagging. And it's not just OBS. It's the game. Yeah, we'll use that in a second. Excuse me? Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. But we can't, because the door's not interactable. It's weird how this apartment has changed shape multiple times. Alice is gone. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but I can't. Gone as in left or gone as in. You still got a wedding ring on. He's here all 
all the time now. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. Mm. Labels. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. What have you done, Alice? Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. Is he becoming... It's the loops, isn't it? Or the spiral. I had seen this before. From the other side. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. Is this why he chooses to remain in the dark place? This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. End of initiation. There were always deaths in horror stories. It's the nature of the genre. This, of course, has shifted from horror to tragedy, essentially. Now, Alan...
Alan wrote himself into the story. He stayed in the dark place so that Alice could could escape. But there is the the obvious implication here that in trying to get back to her, in trying to escape himself, he has inadvertently created Scratch stuck in a loop and caused her suicide i i never feel comfortable talking about suicide so i'm not going to i'm not going to spend any time at all digging into that as a a narrative element a plot element I, for a good chunk of Alan's story, I've had that niggle in the back of my mind that the reason we hadn't seen Alice was because she was gone. The hardest thing I think to do now narratively speaking is to land the story and have it mean something because if all that happens at the end is a return to the status quo at the start of the game that would feel a little bit not anticlimactic but certainly unsatisfying you know, if we end the game with Saga and Casey driving off, the old gods of Asgard back in the nursing home, and Alan still trapped in the dark place in the spiral of his own creation. For me, I mean, it depends how they do it, but I feel like it could be quite unsatisfying. But that was the end of Alan's side of the story. That was the end of initiation with Alan stopping himself. The The comment that Alan made that it was him who had been torturing Alice. In terms of its kind of emotional impact, it feels right. You know, it feels almost expected. But it doesn't make logical sense. And I've spoken before about, you know, the internal logic and the narrative consistency of stories. But how can Alan be showing up to torture Alice on a night? Because he's stuck in the dark place. Unless there's more to... I, I, I don't know. I, I think that is a little bit... arguably a little bit written in for the not so much a gotcha moment but the kind of aha the shock value it was me all along but it doesn't work with the logic of the game it doesn't work with the logic of the narrative so far Uh, and, and they were photographs so it's not like we could say oh it's it's you know all in her head you know she wasn't creating paintings she was showing photographs so somebody 
was clearly showing up. So was was Alan as Scratch? It, it, were those the bits in Alan's memory in the dark place that he'd forgotten that had been wiped out? I guess, I guess that's what they're getting at. But that's... I would say for me, that's maybe a step too far in terms of suspension. Well, it's not even suspension of disbelief. It's just being able to follow the narrative clues. I don't think... Don't get me wrong. I like the idea that, that Alan was Scratch all along. I mean, it ties into what was released from the lake way back in chapter two or whatever it was but i think in terms of the narrative consistency it's it's a it's a bit of a misstep this song going on quite a while anyway unless it's unless it's in a loop and i haven't noticed this sounds like it's winding down so i don't know So Alice spiralled, Alan spiralled in his attempts to get out. It's interesting because, you know, you either die a hero or you live long enough to be the villain and arguably Alan in the first game was not a hero but he did save his wife and yet in living through the dark place he ended up becoming the villain yeah I, I need to know what happens happens next now let's continue onwards thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.